Hello, Christina Renzo. Thanks for tuning in and happy Monday and Labor Day to each and every one of you. I hope you all were well rested this weekend or whether you're coming back from traveling um, or you had a cookout or even went shopping for a sale for the ladies. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I'll, you know, it's a blessing to have holidays like these where in this country where we can rest up a little bit so um again don't forget to like and subscribe share the video with your friends now i know some of you have heard as you've been um some of you can see that i'm wearing a my trump shirt that i haven't worn in ages but this is uh, about this they can't leave it alone they meaning the other side First off, they tried to come after him. Not only, you know, they couldn't leave it alone that he didn't win this election. Then they wanted to make sure that he never comes in again. He never, you know, he's never elected again. Then they had the FBI after him. Now they're coming after his supporters. <laughs> I mean, these same people on the left. I mean, I'm not just talking about just regular liberals. I'm talking about even black liberals. The same ones that like to call us Uncle Toms and sellouts and coons and all these other things. How we're selling out um, uh, for um white men or white supremacists, whatever that means. And yet here they are agreeing with their so-called <laughs> white hero. I mean, I'm only, I'm only following, I'm not gonna stoop down too much in their ignorance, but I'm just following what the hypocrisy here. They're following a white guy themselves that has a record of using racial epithets to come after Trump supporters. Now, I can't remember if it was specifically black conservatives. I wouldn't be surprised. They probably come at us first, one by one. They can line us up and annihilate us. Then they'll go after uh, the, the regular folk with the mega hats. Then they'll go after the Fox News people and uh, other social media. The Shapiro's, uh, the Mike Gallagher's, they'll, they'll annihilate them now, but they'll definitely come after the black conservatives first because we're hated the most. I'm sure the Latinos as well, excuse me, itchy nose here. I'm sure the Latinos as well, but they'll definitely, uh, if they if they had a chance, they'll come after us first. Now, it's, it's really interesting how they are blatantly saying it. And I only saw a clip from MSNBC. Now, Greg Foreman and I believe uh, also Brandon Tatum uh, did news on this. So if you want to go back and, and listen to those video clips from MSNBC, uh, that guy from Houston that likes to pick fights uh, specifically on black, he's a black guy himself, Roland Martin. Um, he had a show back on uh, one of those black TV shows called The One. And that was canceled. Now he has some YouTube thing going on called Unfiltered or something like that, where he has a number of guests and he'll invite one black conservative who agrees to come on and bullies him or her. Um, you know, it's he, he has itchy ears like that Rashid, uh, the Dr. Rashid guy on the Young Turks that want Candace on so bad, but She's so bright and beautiful and intelligent. They're not worth. They're not worth. Uh, worth, excuse me, her um, her airtime or theirs. She's not going to waste her time messing with them. I don't think. Um, and in so many ways, I don't blame her. So they been if they could, they couldn't get her. So they go after the other conservatives, uh, those who choose to go. Uh, I think the only one that wouldn't mind, a few of them like Brandon Tatum, uh, he's been on Fox Soul, and he's been on um, 
what was that uh that dr Rashid guys uh channel um brother the pastor uh body beckham uh who else um bryson gray okay because of his stance on uh being strong pro-life and uh he was on rashid uh the dr rashid guys channel so it's um it, it, it's it's interesting how for so long when trump was in office he was the hate monger he was the one saying um the asshole countries um which there are poverty impoverished countries that no one wants to be in that's why these people are leaving in the first place uh what else has he said um when he talked about uh the guys disrespecting the country and the flag that's why them how many people including black people now some black soldiers who have died uh for that freedom of that flag to stand yet because of some emotional response of something that has nothing to do with them they make more money than the average american in this country yet i don't i don't agree with that when it comes to sport but anywho um yet they choose to okay i'm gonna do i'm making all this buku money i'm gonna do whatever i want because they can't make their money in a country like ghana or england or japan but yet they want to because of a few morons who made foolish decisions not to submit to or comply with a police officer's um, orders, they end up where they end up. And now you get all these people, mostly black, that does not know this person from Adam, wants to risk their lives protesting for a stranger. Uh, they bully strangers as well um but that's another topic <laughs> um but they're the only community as candace owen said that uh has this type of degeneracy that they have to honor these criminals as as heroes and i i don't even have to go back you all know who i'm talking about you honestly think a a fine decent black man like clarence thomas uh, ben, Dr. Ben Carson, or Dr. Thomas Sowell will ever be buried in a golden cas casket and have a three-day funeral like this loser George Floyd. Okay. So that's all I had on my heart. Um, you notice I, you know, I just had to look a little presentable because I mean, even uh, put on a little lip gloss. Um because i've been you know so exhausted i've been sleeping on and off all day for the last few days no i, I really haven't gone anywhere because i i just come back from a trip out west and it's beautiful honestly i wouldn't mind living there if i could if i'm blessed with a job there but that's all god's will christina red soul thanks for listening pray for our nation pray for our brothers and sisters under the persecuted church and I'll talk to you as soon as I can.